I'm back, I'm back. Again, my name is Ivan Ortega from the other dimension. Now, as many of you know, I am part of a universe with the PC culture dated all the way back into the 70s, 60s. It's just the way it is. It's the way it should be. So you know how to be a proper and decent human being. Now, today we're gonna be looking at more movies that you got to see in your dimension, but we didn't because they were so absolutely insulting. So without further ado, let's go. The first movie we're going to be talking about is the one that it was absolutely racist against Mexicans. Which one you might be thinking? Well, easy. It's called E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Yes, E.T., a brown alien, subtle enough, right? A brown alien comes into this world and he wants to fit in, but he can't. Uh, we knew right from the bat that this movie was going to be absolutely problematic. Even in the movie, the mom says that the dad went to Mexico and just disappeared and now we're supposed to have a depiction of Mexicans being this brown deformed looking aliens? No! Do you remember our good friends from PETA? Well, PETA got us into the right path with this movie. This movie was going to be released, but before it hit the theaters, we realized how problematic this really was. All dogs go to heaven. Number one, number one, assuming the religion of others. What if you don't identify as a heaven believer? So does that mean that your pet is gonna suffer because it's not going to go to heaven? Because we all know, by just our common sense, that all pets inherit the religion of the owner. It was absolutely ridiculous. So thank you so much, PETA, for putting us in the right path and knowing that all religions must be acknowledged when you talk about animals. The next movie was cancelled due to its toxicity. Terminator and its masculine toxicity. Yes, Terminator came about a time where toxic masculinity was not well received. What time you might be wondering? Well, all the time. There is not a single moment in history where toxic masculinity is allowed. And this movie showed a man with guns and white and also machine guns and probably a well-balanced diet where he had to eat animals to get protein and not tofu which is the protein in my universe you want to talk about terminator well that movie was terminated i am extremely glad this movie never hit the theaters because it was just insulting insulting to gay people, to ice skating, and to white people. Sometimes we have to acknowledge the fact that white people can be considered people, and they want to dance. This movie showed a white person dancing. Now that reminded them that they cannot dance, and that was very problematic. So with that, we have Blades of Glory, a movie that could have been good, if it wasn't that movie. This movie tried to come out during the LGBT Pride Parade that we have in our dimension, which is every Sunday. And of course, there was a lot of revolt, there was a lot of protest against this movie, and of course, with their full right, this movie was very insulting to everyone. The last movie we're going to be talking about is a movie from a writer, Stephen King, in my universe, his name is Stephen Queen, but that's not the point. Here we have IT, the miniseries that tried to hit television and be a somewhat of success, but how can you expect success when you have a group of friends that is mostly consisted of white people and only one African American? Where is the Indian? Where is the Mexican? Where is the transvestite? Come on, people. And you wonder why this series failed? No surprise why this series was a flop. You don't have enough diversity in it. And they thought that only by having one African American they were going to meet the quota. Well, the quota is bigger than the series itself. Now you have a little bit more insight into the problematic events that you have in your dimension. Well, again, my name is Ivan Ortega. And, and if you want more, if you want to know more about my dimension, let me know in the comments down below. Depending on your political views, I might answer your questions and acknowledge you as a human being. 
With that said, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.